Wire jigs are great if you like working with wire. For today's purposes, I'm going to be demonstrating on how to use the deluxe thingamajig. I'm going to start by um, taking out some of this zebra wire, coiling it out. And the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that your wire is really nice and straight. It's easier to use that way and your design comes out nicer. You want to use your nylon jaw pliers. And while the wire is still on the uh, coil, it's easy because you have something to grip onto and you just pass the wire through your nylon jaw pliers. Now you cut off a length of wire with your snippers like so. The design we're going to be making today is this one here and it's a symmetrical design so it's easiest if I start in the middle. I kind of just eyeball the middle of the wire here and create a loop using the center peg just like this and I just pull on it a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to start doing one side by just looping around the peg and bending the wire down so it's flush, bending around the next peg and flush again. And you just keep doing that and mirror this design on the other side. So again, just go around and around. Now I'm using 20 gauge wire which is pretty thin for a wire jig. You can use much thicker wire as well. So now I have my design and I wiggle it off my pegs or if I'm not going to be making another one right now, I could just take the pegs out like this. Just like that. Okay. Um, now I want to clip off the ends of my wire. The nice thing to know is your pliers have a flush end like this and an end that lives, leaves a bevel inside. So what you want to do is you want to use this side of the pliers to clip the ring like so. And you want to hang on to your wire end so it doesn't go flying off like so. Okay. Now the reason for using this flush side is it leaves a really nice end on your wire, not the pointy end. Okay. Now you want to come along with your nylon jaw pliers and just adjust your rings so they're closed and flatten them like so. Okay, just kind of manipulate it around just like so. Now you have another option. If you'd like your metal to be flattened more, you can use a steel block and a hammer to just pound on and flatten your wire like this. Also, a great thing to make on the wire jig is a handmade earring um, finding like this. And for that, you use the thicker pegs like this. We have a couple of other models of wire jigs. This one is the thingamajig and it's made out of clear plastic and it has the advantage that um, you can draw the design um, in paper underneath it and then place your pegs according to your template. The, um, this unit is called the peg leg and it's a handheld wire jig. Now you see I have all kinds of uh, designs here that I've made and what I do with these is I keep them as a reference, the ones that I like, because then I can just place them on my jig and put a peg in every one of the holes. And so that's my record of the pieces that I like. Here I have some beautiful pieces for you. The first one is a wire necklace that's made similar to the one that we just made and it also incorporates Accuflex wire and Swarovski crystal beads. And the next one is using the, uh, the wire jig pieces as links. They go all the way around the necklace. And of course, you have to make yourself a pair of earrings for your big night out. Thank you for joining us at the studio and happy wire working.